to each other. And today, I'm going to show you how you can create an echo effect on any track in GarageBand. Once you get GarageBand open up, go ahead and find yourself some kind of loop. For this example, I've already got a piano loop up here in the timeline. It sounds like this, just raw. Now, to add an echo effect on it, you're going to want to go to the bottom right here and click Info. That's going to open up the track info for that particular instrument. You'll notice it opens up onto the Browse tab here, but you want it on the Edit tab. Once the edit is up, you'll notice on the very bottom left here, a Master Echo Controller. Right now, it's on, as indicated by the blue button, but it's at zero. We're going to go ahead and, just for this demonstration, put it all the way up to 100. Now, we start the track and hit play. You'll notice how it starts playing on top of itself. And at the very end, it literally echoes out. And that's how you create an echo effect in GarageBand. Thanks for watching.